the least effective way to persuade is to tell somebody to do something. Let me give you an example. Personal life, if you have kids, classic example, do your homework. Hey, Anderson, Ando, do your homework before hockey. You need to do your homework before hockey, right? How does that go in our personal life when we tell somebody we want them to do something? Anyone wanna jump in here? How does that go in your personal life when you try to get somebody to do the thing you want them to do to just simply tell them? There's always resistance, Matt. Always resistance right exactly it's your idea they don't want to do it if I say to my kid hey you need to eat that he immediately is gonna be like I don't want to eat that right it's it is the least effective way to persuade yet we do this the most in sales and you're like I don't do that I don't boss people around well, let me explain okay if you're spending your time if you're spending most of your time in demos if you're spending most of your time walking them through your software or your solution or your product catalog and you're making pitches and you're talking about and I get it we've talked about this in other classes other sessions about hey it's really great to have testimonials but if you're spending your time leaning on testimonials case studies you know hey Chad let me show you a thousand videos from other people just like you that, that got into the sales training and they loved it. That is the least persuasive way to get somebody to do something. It is no different than me saying to my son, you know, all the kids that got into college this year did their homework when they were 11. You know, you know, if you want to be like Elon Musk, you need to do your homework. It's not persuasive.